Sabudi Partners. You are welcome to today's tutorial. Today I will be sharing with you how you will be buying product through the e-commerce on uh, Sabudi Business Online. Okay. First thing first, you should make sure you have some good money in your wallet. You check your wallet. Oh, sorry. I need to log in this. You need to check your wallet. Here, what I have is 70. So it means if I want to buy any product more than $70, I will need to uh, first add to this. And if you want to know the Naira equivalent of this $70, you multiply by 400. If you know the Naira equivalent. And then for other countries, so you multiply by the amount we are pegging it for your country, and you get that. Okay. Um, now, when this is done, when you have enough in your wallet, you sh you can go to the e-commerce and get your products. All right. You click on products. Okay, it's loading, and uh, you click on solar product. Go basically, that's all we are dealing with now. And appliances, everything about the solar product, they are all on in appliances. So make use of the appliances and get the products there. Okay. Remember what I have is seventy dollars. Okay, as mean I want to buy the solar wristwatch. Okay, I'll add it. And if I still want to buy more. Okay, if I want to buy more, all I need to do is to still go back to products. Okay. All right, and um, let's say if, if I add this, I hope my money can buy a solar generator. Okay, okay, this is it. Well, before now, I think uh, I added some products. Uh, which have not paid. So I think I can remove it to see what my money can afford. Okay. All right. So this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Okay. Um, the points here are actually the the value of um, uh, that is the the interest, the profit of um, what you be getting from this purchase you are making. So this is the point attached to it. You can see this one has its own, and this has its own. Okay, I think the total price you can see it. the total price here is sixty eight dollars for twenty five. While the wallet amount is seven feet up, it means I can buy. The total price of all this is sixty-eight dollars. Uh, then um, total point that I will be getting when I make this transaction will be three hundred and thirty-five dollars. I mean three hundred twenty-five uh, PV. Okay, let me go right to where down. I'm done. I want to place my order. Click on place order. Order successful. Order successful. Okay. You can see now I'm left with just one point eight dollars. That's okay. So I have gotten um I've made my order. So now is the company that will now confirm my order. When my order has been confirmed. That is when I will get the point that is attached to the product. I will now see it uh, here in my report. You can see it there in your report. That is wallet. You will see the point uh, that you have there in your, your wallet. Click it. See it there. 
Now currently that is, this is what I have because the the order I made has not been confirmed. If I have made it, it would have added here. Okay, and then if I want to place withdrawal of the point, all I need is to click on wallets, then go to point, and uh, I type in the point. If it is the whole point here is 30, I type in the whole point. The system is actually automated. So basically all you need all you'll be doing will be seeing them step by step. Okay, like here you can see the estimated point of dollar value. So this 30 point is equivalent to 1.5 dollars. So when you put in this 30 point, that is what you'll be generating 1.5 dollars. Okay, so uh when you you are done you click on submit all right uh like i said the coin value i've said it before the coin value is actually meant for a word here we have the e-wallet uh because uh, when you want to place withdrawal you can place your withdrawal by putting in if it is the one dollar there you place you try to go to um, your uh, bank bank to be transferred to your bank when the request has been has been made and approved okay then you can also see your coin wallet of course is for you to view it what is there I also is there on the dashboard um, where you see your earnings I'm just using the opportunity to show you that. Okay, so let's go back to the e-commerce. Products for products. My card, those products that you have, uh, you, you started placing, and but you have not completed. You see them there in my card. Then here, yeah, my orders. That is if you have uh, pending orders. Okay, these are orders that have, have not been confirmed. Okay, they've not been confirmed. If they have been confirmed, you won't see them here. So anytime you check my orders and you have this there, it means they've not been confirmed and you will need to uh, do that. You need to confirm that. Okay. Yes, please. Uh, your address, take note of this. When you are updating my profile, this, when you're updating my profile, make sure you put your full address there, the, the state and uh, the local government, most importantly, the state and local government. Since our shipping is to state and local government, and uh, we'll be able to reach you through that okay make sure you put fill in your address this will make it very easy and the correct phone number that you'll be reached by the office when you do that to be easier for us to to get in touch with you and uh, your products will be delivered confirmed by the office if your orders have not been confirmed you call the office or you notify them through the customer care okay so when uh, orders have been confirmed the next thing you use check is to check your delivered now the delivered will show you those items that have been confirmed okay basically that is just uh, that is how the e-commerce works okay the, the, that is how it works very easy very simple make sure you have your fund in the wallet and all that then for uh, my profile when you finish registration always try to uh, update your profile okay update it to to be sure you have uh, your phone number there and every other details you need to put here it should be complete address Let's say uh, if, if it is Fenway, let's say Marcordi. Marcordi. Fenway State. Okay, you type in there because 
the account holder name bank name and account number so when you are done you click on update very simple okay and your your profile will be updated make sure you always fill in the right information there then for for your settings that is when you want to change password you click on settings and change password type in the old password and the new password and click change that will be done very very quickly i hope that is uh, clear for you i hope it is clear okay all right thank you for your time i will want to stop here see you next time bye